All right, folks, welcome back. It's been a little while. Uh, things have been, <laughs> we'll use the word hectic. It's quarter after 2 p.m. Monday, August 30th. Uh, I've been dropping, uh, dropping properties like a madman. This is it. We're on the last big push of 2021 for making dry hay. We've got the weather uh, for the next few days. Uh, we've barely got the product, but it's being cut down anyway. Uh, long story short, I just knocked down my fifth property <laughs> since uh, uh, since yesterday. Uh, <clears throat> yesterday afternoon, I dropped the North Hill by the farm. After chores, I dropped the South. I hit two more properties here today, starting at 9 a.m. right after the dew, about 9.30. And uh, right after lunch here, I just dropped another eight, nine acres. Uh, and dad is mowing down hay right now too. In fact, as soon as this is done, I'm going to join him with the last field and finish that up. Uh, I am sorry about no action videos, especially with the new disc bind. I'm still learning it. I'm just about dialed in. The machine is about dialed in. We're gonna talk about the adjustments and everything else. Uh, I'm running a whole different ball game here now with the adjustments made according to when I first started. Uh, it's it, it's a real it's starting to be a real treat rather than nerve wracking if that makes sense to anybody. Okay, I forget where we left off, but the last three four videos or so I can only assume I talked about needing that rain significantly well, we got it uh, in the last three days not yesterday but let's just say Thursday Friday Saturday we've got I'm, I'm gonna say about an inch inch and a half maybe an inch and three quarters in those three days which was an absolute blessing uh, now if you pay attention to the channel you'll know that I I'm gonna use the word gambled and I put down potash and sulfur on all my alfalfa. This, of course, is my primary field. We've got the other field right here. Uh, and then the grassy alfalfa field, which is just exploded with alfalfa. We'll take a look at that. All right, right now, looking at this, as long as Mother Nature continues to give us a little treat for the next few weeks or so, I can guarantee you easy on that word that we're probably we're going to be making alfalfa baleage at a bar minimum on this field now there's some spots and of course up on the rocky knolls and whatnot that you can probably see that are brownish those will fill in um th this is looking very promising and we just uh we need some continued help Okay, then you have my new seeding field. This was put down new seeding last year. That's at AFX 469. This here looks promising, and it does. It is. The back half of this field is atrocious. It's awful. I don't know what's gonna happen here with this field. We'll see. I mean, if I have to, and I will, I'll just, I'll just take the north half of it. Uh, the back half is just just a god awful shame and I am going to blame that on significant deer damage. <clears throat> yeah, so since yesterday through today, this is the last bit of cutting for the year. Unless I'm missing something, I don't think I am for making a dry hay source, either small squares or rounds, which we're gonna make both. Our goal here is to make as many small squares as we can and then clean up after it by making rounds. For the most part, all properties are pure grass. Uh, there was a six acre chunk I took down this morning that was a mix of grass and alfalfa, but there was a lot of a lot of garbage in there. 
All right, so this is the Grassy Alfalfa field. I've talked about this field many a times. It needs a lot of help. In this particular area, yes, we, we look like we're on the highway to glory here. Uh, this is the good end. The immediate west end and the immediate east end is, is pretty stinking good. But there's a lot of bad spots in here. We'll, we'll see what happens. Kind Mother Nature in three weeks worth of time is huge. We'll just see what we get. We'll do a full-on video of the new C400 disbine when it comes time for cutting that for baleage, that field. I'm, I'm guaranteeing that field. And I'm going to give you the ins and outs, my thoughts and feelings, which are all good because I'm starting to learn it. Um, yeah. You know, I'm used to a lever here and a lever there for adjustments and then just go like hell. Well, this thing here, <laughs> which is a good thing, there is multiple, multiple adjustments according to product that you're in, what's, what's your flavor so to speak and uh, I believe I'm about dialed in I really am most of it had to do with moving the shoes in fact there was a comment and I should have prepared for this I should have given you a pat on the back your name um, that was a significant help by moving the shoes in fact that was that was better than 50% of my problem Shame on me for not actually reading the damn manual that came with it. I mean, I would have, but you know, when I got this, yeah, excuses be damned. Everything's good. Uh, the only bad part is, is all the all the knives I ordered for this thing, all the extra blades and knives. It takes a different knife <coughs> compared to the other Moco. It takes a quick attach knife. Well, I found that out yesterday when I did a full-on service and maintenance to this in the morning. I went to go change out some knives because in the process of me learning this thing, and I know it's a sorry-ass excuse, I did some pretty good knife damage. Thankfully, just knife, knife damage. And uh, anyway, I got that squared away today. I called John Deere. We got the right ones coming. And... Uh, We'll see what we can do. Ultimately very pleased. So that's really about it in a nutshell here, what's been going on uh, quite a bit. Getting ready for the big last parade of the year here. Uh, we've been cutting some very thin, thin stuff. Almost doesn't even merit a cutting. In fact, probably half of you might even say that you're just throwing away diesel fuel. Some of this stuff, I would agree. I, I wouldn't argue too hard about it. But, uh, you know, this is the last go around here for the year. And uh, we're gonna try and get everything that we can. The one good note is, even when we're given this real thin haircut, those are my words, we're still a little early to where a proper regrowth can come before winter sets in so in that department I have no concerns um, my biggest concern right now is some of these properties are so thin that even with the double windrow rake my fear is making a proper square bale some of you know what I'm talking about right now it takes a certain amount of product fed into that baler to make a good bale Right now, that's my concern. 
we'll see what happens. Might have to grab some gears, you know. So that's it. Uh, I was supposed to go on vacation this week. The stars were all aligned for me to do so, including the weather pattern as of about four days ago, future weather pattern. It changed. Obviously. Look what's going on. And it's good. You know, we're at the end of the year. But yeah, I was going to take, if you follow the channel, I was going to take that mountain man trip, so to speak, here this week. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. There, There's still, uh, uh, I think the fun and games are all over with, I think on Thursday. Um, so we'll see what happens Thursday and Friday. You, you got Saturday, Sunday too. Well, we'll see. I'm not crying in my soup about it, I can tell you that. It's time to get this hay done. And uh, keep praying. Uh, good faith here on good weather. And some moisture to come to keep feeding this alfalfa so we can by God shoot out some alfalfa baleage and get some wrapped for that young stock lot. Young stock lot, the heifer lot's doing real good. We got another one AI'd last night. There's another one that came into heat this morning, but we're gonna wait till uh, 4, 4.30 chore time to get her AI'd. And of course, these are these are new heifers that have not been, uh, have not received yet. Um, boy, that almost sounded professional. So that's a really, really good thing because by Friday or Saturday, the goal is to corral and get up 3006 Remington to go into the heifer lot. And uh, he and all the heifers are going to stay confined together for one solid month. And then everybody's going to live together and get along. Uh, I'm going to clear out the heifer lot so I can clean it and get it ready for this later fall's uh, calf crop. And I got a plan in mind, and I look forward to sharing it with you. Hope everybody's doing okay on this uh, Monday. Hope you had a fair weekend. Uh, I know I did. I, I, uh, I, I got a little fun involved in this weekend as well. In fact, yesterday, yesterday morning was a long walk to the barn. But uh, life is good. Life is fun. I, I hope the same for everybody else. We're going to talk to you much sooner than later.